Hey everyone, it's Tom again for Fockers Game Room, and today I'm going to tell you about this great uh, vintage golf game from 1984. It's endorsed by Sam Snead. Uh, it's called Shake Around. So, uh, again, much like everything in 1984, you had the Terminator movie coming out, you had the Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, and this wonderful product, the benchmark of the entire 365 days. Shake Around Golf. Uh, made in South Dakota, uh, as you can see here, it uh, came out around Christmas time as a Christmas gift back then, and again endorsed by Sam Snead. So uh, the box uh, is in its original condition. It's, it's a little bit beat up, but you know what? For being uh, over 30 years old, it's actually in pretty darn good shape. Uh, for some unbeknownst reason, somebody put Scotch tape on it. Uh, the original owner, I'm not really quite sure why you would do that or why they did that, but they did that. So uh, a little bit of a tear here, and uh, and kind of pops up a little bit here. But, again, nothing that's going to detract from the game. Again, for being over 30 years old, this box is in pretty darn good shape, as it turns out. You see the bottom is in pretty good shape as well. Uh, so you open it up and you get to the important things. And as with uh, just about every game in Fokker's game room, this sucker is in excellent to new condition uh, inside the box. And that's what really matters anyway. So let me tell you a little bit about... Uh, what's inside here? Let me get the uh, the dice all intact. So as you can see in the original uh, plastic packaging, we have the shaker cup, uh, and with this cup uh, contains five dice. Uh, the cup also has the original uh, yellow foam uh, bottom cup placard, for lack of a better term. Why that's in there, I have no idea, but it is, and it's original. So uh, you can bet your bottom dollar this is a complete set. So you have that. Uh, also in the box, we have the uh, original instructions to the game. So we have that in here. Let me set this stuff down. Uh, there's a slight crease right here, but again, that's not going to detract from playing the game. Uh, it doesn't even cut into the instructions, just really on the top part. But uh, it tells you, uh, you know, exactly how to play the game right in here. Uh, and then also as an added bonus to complete this wonderful vintage set, the original scorecards to the game intact in the pad. Uh, it's not falling apart. The glue's still in great condition. So uh, a fantastic rare vintage piece. There aren't many of these around. And uh, this is definitely a rare game that, that you will enjoy playing or, or put into your game collection. So let me tell you about how to play this game a little bit. So uh, there's 18 holes that you simulate through. So uh, in this box, you get the, uh, the five dice. Okay, So you have your tee shot, which is the white die and then the, uh, the four to simulate all the way up to a par five, the shot dice, okay? So for this example, we're going to say this is a par three hole, okay? So for that, you have three dice. So you have your, your tee shot, um, which is uh, one, two, or three, and then if this was real golf, this is where I would be most of the time with the three shots out of bounds. Uh, and then you have your two um, stroke shots, so zero, one, and two on these dice. So again, for a three shot hole, you would have one of these and two of these. For par four, you'd have one and three, par five, one and four. Okay? So for again, for this example, it's going to be a par three course. We'll throw our three die in here, our one shot die, and our two stroke die. Okay, we shake it up however you want, whatever your lucky feelings are, however you want to do it, you can do it. Uh, you just roll it out on the uh, the board in front of you, so my tee shot went a little errant here, as I got a two on that, and then my other two strokes are uh, ones, so this would be a four uh, for the par three, so I just bogeyed the hole, which is pretty realistic for <laughs> for a golf game, uh, so it's pretty much what I'd probably do anyway, so uh, it's a great game, lots of fun, again, this, this one's very rare, uh, you can't find a lot of these out there. Uh, it's in really good shape for its age. The game is fun, and again, it's got the original scorecard. So uh, this one's not going to last long, so make sure uh, you get to bidding if you're interested. As always, thanks for watching our videos. We sure hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you can find out more about the, um, the game right here uh, underneath this video in the link. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy bidding.